to bug out. We don't need our... Because the bounty on your head gets bigger the longer you live. So...
find anything useful. Investigate that control center on the far side of the bridge.
have things for you. Struts primed, retros fire. Sorry, I was lost in a memory. How can I help? Captain, it is pleasant.
your business here? We are a research station run by the Hadron Consortium. Our work is proprietary and confidential. Great minds advancing basic research for the future of humanity. A bunch of scientists who pool their grant funding. What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Yes, I am sure. If there was an emergency, I'd be the one sending it. Really? The High Energy Research Lab? Alright. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the Director. For security, I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome. Tunisia. Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the Director. We're a small research station in the middle of nowhere. Pirates eat places like these for lunch. It is my job to make sure that we are not on the menu. Kaya Patel, our Administrator and Research Director. 28 years in quantum particle physics, or so I'm told. It's beyond me. We'll take the back way out. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh, easy now. What are you talking about? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tech? Who are you working for? Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on. This way. Who's there? Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. It's been so long. I'm out of food, out of water. But I made it. I... Wait, how did you get in here?
What? What are you talking about? No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... <sighs> Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. There... They're all dead. An artifact? You mean the metallic god? Just disappear. We should. Wait. He's back. All right. We're on our way up. Who's out? I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, King of the Earth. Can't miss it. Director? Thank you, Ethan. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. What does our research have to do with this? No, it's fine. Let's start there. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, our chief engineer was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael. Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait. Gas fire. Gas fire. The leak. Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been... It could well have caused an explosion. 
Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Presumed dead. As Maria said, the research level is still locked down, so we don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... You mean this other Raphael? No. How could we possibly do that? Raphael was a colleague and a friend. If there was some way to help him, I would. But it does seem unlikely. We're not sure. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. You have a prior connection with them, then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. So far, no one else has reported anything unusual. Either it's your prior exposure to these artifacts, or perhaps simply the fact that you're an outsider here. We didn't know. That's why we were researching it. That is science, after all. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate? Or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan. Come with me. The control unit is in the fabrication lab next door. What have we gotten ourselves into?
It's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and... I thought I'd finally lost it. I'll manage. Look, can we just go? What? How? Look, if you think things are bad up here, the research level is even worse. I barely made it out, and that was months ago. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. to clear this out, assuming the rest of the building doesn't come down on top of us. I was in the lab, working on the frequency calibration for the probe. I was walking out of the control room when it happened. I heard the tanks rupture. The alarm sound. I only had a second to react. I jumped back into the control room. The doors sealed. I was safe. The gas, the fire, everything. But I was trapped. There was nothing I could do to stop it. If I had gone the other way, maybe I could have made it to the ventilation controls. Killed the system. Even if it killed me. I don't know. I don't want to think about it. They're a native species. We had an electric pulse field to keep them out. The fire took out the generators, damaged the foundation. They just keep coming. I'm not sure. It might stop whatever's happening to you. It's a reasonable theory, I guess. How should I know? You're the one who keeps winking in and out of existence. I just want to get out of here. Go do whatever you're going to do. I'll see if I can clear a path to the door. What? I... Oh, it's you. You realize you just poked into my locked office. So much for security protocols. Uh, sure. Down the hall. Take the stairs next to the atrium. Yeah, let me get the doors for you. And done. Is there anything else you need? Uh, yes. Kataxi. Nasty things. The original survey team ran across them. You're welcome to read the old logs if you want. Yeah, I'll unlock the terminal for you. Bigger than you'd expect. We've got a particle accelerator, whole lab complex, the high energy research lab. Real state of the art. Can't tell you what a tenth of it actually does. That's right, has been since the accident. We can't connect to the control system to override it. The whole system's on a head's rigor. Cameras spot anyone not in the staff database. They fire off an alarm and all hell breaks loose. The Kataxi in the other universe. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. 
I got an experimental thing one of the engineers put together. But... Uh, easy! We are just talking, right? Don't get ahead of yourself. Sorry, but... Sorry, I have to keep it on hand, just in case. Did you get lost in the hallway? Uh, all right. This is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terawatts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89. What the? Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach. the distortion, please. I don't know. It's possible. That's what I want to test. If that is what's happening, what does that mean? How many of these distortions are there? All around us, all this time, and we've never noticed.
Nothing. No, hold on. There's a slight pattern change. Some kind of resonance. Right, stay there. Let me turn the feedback up for a moment. Calibrating to 90, 91. Are you all right? So, the lower setting causes the distortions to manifest, and the higher causes you to shift. That seems promising. Keep it on the lower setting until you want to shift, and you should be able to avoid any more accidents. I'd give you my control unit, but it looks like you already have one from the other universe. Love to take a look at that when this is all over. No. No, we still don't understand what we're dealing with here. If we found something that works, let's not press our luck. You may want to practice shifting just to make sure this works reliably. Closer to the distortion, conditions may be less stable, if that's possible. If you can get down to the research level, you need to make your way to the High Energy Research Lab. Disengage the power interlocks then pull the emergency shutdown to stop the probe. That should finally put an end to all this. Oh, and before you go, the director wanted to speak with you. It really is just down the hall. Well then, all set? If you need supplies, I've asked Dr. Barakova to take care of you. It's the least I can do after everything we've put you through. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Exactly. And when you shut down the experiment, the probability function will collapse. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? If this were a choice between my life and Raphael's, I would ask you to save him. But as the director of the station, I am responsible for the lives of my staff. 30 people. People with families, careers, futures ahead of them. In this universe, you don't have to decide now. But when the time comes, please keep them in mind. Now, it's time you are going. With the network offline, we can't shut down the security system on the research level, so you can expect some resistance. Be careful. Ethan, unlock the elevator lobby, please. Ma'am, research level is still locked down. I'm aware of that. I... All right. Done. Good luck, dear. It's been a fascinating day.
Tatiana Barakova, station's doctor. This is not a public medical facility, but the director has ordered me to assist you nonetheless. I can spare a few med packs. Beyond that, I am not your therapist, your psychologist, or your cosmetologist. If there's anything else you need, ask. Hmm. I would have thought you were tougher than that. Hold still. Let's get this over with. Right. Now, if there is nothing else, you can show yourself out. Don't touch it. Watch yourself. We don't get this. Controls are available on designated security terminals.
Security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals.
Controls are available on designated security terminals.
you are. Welcome back. Ethan, how are we doing? Research levels back online. Definitely some damage, but it could be a lot worse. We will have to replace a few robots. Yes, well, that's a small price to pay, all things considered. This is a lot to take in. Artifacts, multiple universes. Look on the bright side, dear. Just imagine the papers you'll publish. If anyone even believes this. I am curious, though. Why did you decide to stay here, with us? Of course, I'll make sure the Consortium remembers his sacrifice. Our next supply ship will be arriving soon. I'll have a full report ready for them. For now, I'd like to extend our gratitude and what compensation I can offer for everything we put you through. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience.